Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com In this video, we will be providing the complete demo about the project of incentive driven information sharing in delay tolerant mobile networks. Mobile wireless devices play important roles in our daily life. Users often use such devices for bank transactions, keep in touch with friends. Users can also store such information and share with one another via opportunistic peer-to-peer links. Hence, effective data discriminative schemes need to be designed to encourage nodes to collaborative share data. In this paper, we propose a multi-receiver incentive-based discrimination schema that allows nodes to cooperatively deliver information of interest to one another via chosen delivery paths that utilizes few transmissions. Our MURI schema utilizes local historical path and tracks users' interest information maintained by each node. In addition, the charge and the reward functions incorporate with our MURIA schema stimulate cooperate among nodes such that the nodes have no incentive to launch edge insertion attack. Furthermore, our charge and the reward functions are designed such that the chosen delivery paths mimic efficient multicast stream that result in fewest delivery hopes. Extensive simulation studies using Real human contact based mobile tracers show that our MURI schema outperforms existing methods in terms of delivery ratio and transmission efficiency. Next we are going to see the flow of this process. For this one first we need to create the DTN network environment. Here we have to initializing some set of 25 nodes and we have to creating some of that interest. Next we need to set the interest of each nodes. This will be transmitting that messages. For our process, we need to computing that user interest because we have to computing that transferring rate by using this user interest model. Next, user interest based the node generating that messages. After generation of messages, the node will need to transmit that messages. For the transmission, we need to check the user interest between that other users. If that other user's threshold value of this interest will be greater than our fixed threshold, the data will be transmitted to other node. By using this same concept, the relay will be performed up to the destination node. If the process will not satisfy, means the packet will getting dropped. If in case of any successive transmission, the user interest of each node will be increased and the energy of each node will get reduced. The reward function of the each node will also getting increased. By using this three function, we can able to computing the selfishness of each node in the DTN network. By using this process, we need to transferring that data by using the user interest model. Next, we are going to see the complete demo of this process. For this execution, we need to run the DTN sim.java. In this running procedure, the data of the number of hosts and their communication will be initialized. This window will showing that each node in that moving roadmap and that node will transmitting the message between us. So interest of each node will getting increased. The event clock panel will showing that message status which was relayed or delivered or created. After that ending of simulation time, we can getting that hosting property. In this host properties, will showing that number of messages transmitted and where that current cell will placed. After this host properties, we can get that node interest. We have to assume some of that interest for each nodes. For example, host one having that interest of disease. After we getting, we have to creating the set of messages and this each message is having some set of interested. By using this I have to applying that credit. This will be that kind of interest. 
so each node having all kind of interested under some levels for example host one having no interest with flowers and travel but having high interest with disease and animals by using this we can able to reward that functions then we can able to predicting that user interest for this one will showing that current interest and the probability of interest in reward function each message is having rewarded to someone if that node will transmitting that message successfully and it receiving that acknowledging message means that reward function will be performed by using this reward function we have to applying that charging if the node will transmit it successfully means it will be boosted by something and the node will only transmitting means if the energy will be reduced by using this we can able to justifying our selfishness if the power will be increased or decreased means that selfishness node will be predicted if that power will be the same level means the node in the form of selfishness from this we have to concluding that be creating the dtn network with that incentive mechanism for creating that message and transmitting that message by using some user interest without packet loss and improved efficiency and transmission delay thanks for watching